Hello everyone, welcome back to Edimool Tutorials. In this particular video, we will be covering signed binary numbers. Myself Sohana Dogdoti and let's get started. Now, signed binary numbers. Why do we need signed binary numbers? As humans, we can differentiate between a plus 9 and a minus 9. But computers cannot understand the difference between plus 9 and minus 9 as it can only understand anything only using two digits 0 and 1. So, in order to represent plus 9 and minus 9 and help the computer to differentiate between those two values, we will be using signed binary numbers. Now, how do we denote a positive value or a negative value? We use negative symbol for 1 and we use a positive symbol for 0. Okay? Now, uh, where we will be placing this 1 and 0 for notation. The leftmost bit for all the values will be your signed number. For example, consider uh, minus 9. How do we represent minus 9? It is 1, 0, 0 and 1. Now, this value is 9 and this negative symbol, how do we denote the negative symbol with 1? So, totally it becomes 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is how we represent a minus 9. So this bit will be the most significant bit which is the leftmost bit and this one will denote it as a negative value and this completely will show you the magnitude. I hope you are clear with this. Now there are many ways in order to represent a signed binary numbers. Now again uh, before getting into those notations uh, let us see one more thing like unsigned binary numbers. Now for example 25 stands for 1 1 0 0 and 1. This is an unsigned binary number, right? Now, uh, its value gets changed when we consider this bit to be the leftmost significant bit like 1 stands for a negative. So this one can also be a minus 9 in case of a signed one. So there's a lot of difference between unsigned and a signed because its value is completely changed. That is in case of an unsigned, its value is 25 but in case of a signed, its value is minus 9. Now, people have come up with a lot of uh, notations in order to differentiate between them but the most common used are like three types what are those three types signed magnitude representation and signed once complement representation signed complement representation uh, again consider the value 9 for example if you want to represent 9 using 8 bits in the questions they will be giving using how many bits we want like 5 bits or 6 bits or anything but always remember that your leftmost bit only determines the value of your complete number now using 8 bits we can represent this as 0 0 0 and 0 and 1 0 0 and 1 here we are using a 0 because 0 stands for a positive 1 so 9 stands for this one 0 0 0 0 and 1 0 0 1 okay in order to get minus 9 <coughs> we have 9 as this one in order to get a minus 9 we have these three steps like either signed magnitude or signed ones or signed twos in order to consider the first method signed magnitude we just change the leftmost bit to 1 how do we do that just assigning 1 to it Again, the same 0, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 1. So, this value gives you a minus 9. So, signed magnitude is just changing the leftmost bit to either 0 or 1 depending upon the value we want. Now, how do we get the signed 1's complement? Signed 1's complement is simply the 1's complement of the 9. So, we have 9 as 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, the 1's complement for this one will be 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 and 0. So this is your 1's complement. Now how do we get the 2's complement of this one? Just by adding 1 to it. So your final value will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1. So these are the 3 notations in which we can find minus 9. It's simple whenever value is given we just represent it using its digits, binary digits, convert into its binary digits and for minus 9 what we do is we can either use the signed magnitude or signed 1's or signed 2's which is simple enough. Now, coming to the problems like binary, signed binary addition or subtractions. Usually, both of them have the same format. Now, for example, if we are given a problem like 
दिस वन और माइनस सिक्स प्लस थर्टीन और माइनस सिक्स माइनस थर्टीन और सिक्स एंड माइनस थर्टीन सिक्स एंड माइनस थर्टीन नाउ दीज आर द साइंड बाइंडी नंबर्स इन द प्रॉब्लम नाउ हाउ डू वी फाइंड वैल्यूज फॉर दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स लेट्स गेट इन टू द सॉल्विंग पार्ट आई जस्ट गिव यू द रूल्स एज वी जस्ट स्टार्ट डूइंग द प्रॉब्लम नाउ वन थिंग टू रिमेंबर इज वेन एवर अ नेगेटिव सिम्बल इज गिवन लाइक नेगेटिव ऑफ सिक्स और एनी अदर वैल्यू दैट नेगेटिव वन फर्स्ट शुड बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर्म आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू फाइंड द साइंड टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर दिस वन राइट सो इन सिमिलर वे वी विल बी फाइंडिंग द टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर द नेगेटिव पार्ट ओनली द नेगेटिव नॉट द पॉजिटिव वन वील जस्ट लीव द पॉजिटिव वन एज इट इज एंड देन फाइंड द टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर द नेगेटिव वन एंड देन डू द नॉर्मल एडिशन पार्ट आफ्टर डूइंग द नॉर्मल एडिशन पार्ट we have few cases where we will be discussing later while solving okay now plus 6 how can we write plus 6 like first consider this problem now how do we represent plus 6 uh, we will be considering eight bits or in all these kind of problems so uh, it is just a zero 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 and zero and for 6 we use zero one one zero right now for plus 13 what we will be using zero 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 and zero and then we take it as 1 1 0 and 1 now do the normal regular addition binary addition 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with a uh, carry 1 1 plus 1 is again 0 with a carry 1 1 0 0 and 0 okay uh, till here it is clear right so generally now consider the leftmost bit which is a 0 which means it's a positive value so positive of whatever this one One two four eight sixteen. So its value is nineteen. Okay, till here it is clear. Now, as we are considering it as a two's complement addition for all this, whether if it is a minus sign given. So whenever a carry is generated, if carry is generated, just discard it. Now. uh again another two more points check the leftmost bit if it's zero just write the value just write the result if it's a one we consider it to be negative and find Two's complement for the final result. I want you to just consider only these few points because uh, signed binary numbers addition is always quite confusing to solve. Whenever you just go into the exam and start doing it, you always feel it to be a little different and even tense while solving it because I have personally faced it. So I just want you to note down these points carefully and do any kind of problems with ease. Now. I'll consider minus six plus thirteen. Now this here comes the second example. Now plus thirteen is similar to that one zero 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 and one one and zero one. Now how do we write minus six for this one? We know the value of six as zero 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 and zero one one and zero. In order to find minus six, we will be considering the two's complement only. So the two's complement can be obtained by first finding the one's complement, which is one 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 zero zero and one plus one. Which is zero, one one zero one 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 one. Now here comes a value which is one 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 zero and one zero. Now we are supposed to add minus six and plus thirteen, right? So zero 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 one one zero and one. So one 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 zero one one zero one zero one zero one zero and a one. Here we get a carry. Now just discard this carry because I have already mentioned here if carry is generated just discard it. Now after discarding it, check the value of the leftmost bit, which is a zero. Hence it is a positive number. So your answer is just a positive. And what is its a uh, equivalent decimal number like one to four? It is seven. So plus seven is your final answer. In the similar way, we will be solving minus six in minus thirteen, plus six in minus thirteen. 
Now let's consider the third example minus 6 plus minus 13. Okay, how do we find the minus 6 and minus 13 values? For 6, we have this binary format of these strings and 13 we have these. Now how do we find minus 6 and minus 13? Here we use 2's complement which can be given as 1 1 1 1 1 double 0 1 plus 1. Uh, which are the 0 and 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 okay for the uh, minus 13 also again we consider the 2's complement which is 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 now we need to add these two values how do we do that uh, let's just add into this one plus 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 carry one 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 zero with a carry one one with a carry one one with a carry one one with a carry one now you can discard this value fine because uh, according to the rules if carry is generated in the two's complement addition forms we can just directly discard it now check the msb of this one most significant bit is one so from this we can say that our value is negative so uh, let's uh, just uh, write these values one 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 0 1 1 0 1 now according to this one our msb is negative 1 which is a negative so now we need to find the 2's complement for this one again we need to again find the 2's complement which is equals to 0 we should even consider this bit also just don't leave that bit it is just for checking whether your value is a positive one or a negative one that's it so 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 and 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0. Now, what is this value's binary equivalent? It is 19, right? So, your answer is obtained. Like basic decimal notations also, if it is a minus 6, minus 13, the answer will be minus 19. By doing all this procedure also, we will be ending up with the result minus 19. It might look a little clumsy, but it's very easy if you just follow the rules as it is. Now, let's consider the other example plus 6 and minus 13. 6 and 13, right? What are? Here we have only 13 to be negative. So, only we need to find the 2's complement for the 13. But here, we have both of them to be negative. So, we uh, need to find 2's complement for both of them. Whereas, in case of 13, only is negative so you need to find the 2's complement only for that one but it's just a positive 6 so uh, general representation 0 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 and 0 the same for the positive 6 uh, this remains the same now in case of minus th uh, 13 uh, it's a binary digits are 1 1 and 0 1 now how do we find uh, minus 13 we use 2's complement of this one which is equal to 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 plus 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 now to this 2's complement, we will be adding this plus 6 value, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So it's a 1, 0 with 1, 0 with a 1. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, again, consider the bits 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1. Now, the MSB bit is a 1 bit, which is negative. So our final answer is negative of something. Now how do we find which values is negative? We need to again take the 2's complement of this final one. Which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and a 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now uh, when we convert this binary into its decimal equivalent, we get a value of 7. So your final answer is minus 7. So according to the basic decimal uh, notations also, if it is a plus 6 and minus 13, your answer will be minus 7. So using all the 2's complement notations, we will be getting the same answer again. Now, it might be a little confusing, but just go through the rules and you can do it. Uh, now, I want you to try all those 4 questions like plus 49 and plus 29, plus 49 and minus 29, minus 29 and minus 49, minus 49 and plus 29. These might be a little bigger values, but first, convert uh, this 49 and 29 into its binary forms and then apply all the rules as required. Once again, I'll go through the rules. Uh, as you can see, first we will be, if it is a negative value, we need to find the 2's complement. So according to the problems given here, 
in this one there is nothing to be considered as two's complement everything stays the same and just convert into its binary form and then uh, do the regular binary addition but in this one it is a minus one so first we need to consider the two's complement for this one in this case both are negative so both of them should be converted to two's, uh, two's complement form and in this one only this one should be considered to be the two's complement form after doing it and after forming the basic binary addition we need to check two steps if carry is generated just discard the carry and after discarding the carry if if there's a carry we need to check the leftmost bit of that one if it's a zero just write the result if it is a one consider it to be negative and again find the two's complement to get the final answer i hope you really like this session in the next video we will be covering binary codes and all the other formats till then stay tuned to edumon thank you